Preface The terrible and fateful events that have befallen our wonderful and unhappy homeland sweep over our souls like a searing and purifying fire. In this fire, all false foundations, errors, and prejudices on which the ideology of the former Russian intelligentsia was built burn. On these foundations, it was impossible to build Russia. These errors and the prejudices led it to corruption and destruction. In this fire, our religious and public ministry is renewed, our spiritual pupils are opened, our love and will are tempered. And through this, the first thing that will revive within us is the religious and state wisdom of Eastern Orthodoxy, and especially Russian Orthodoxy. As the renewed icon features the royal depiction of ancient writing, lost and forgotten by us but invisibly present and not abandoning us, so in our new vision and excitement, let us see the ancient wisdom and power that guided our ancestors and built our holy Russia. In search of this vision, with thought and love, I appeal to you, white warriors, bearers of the orthodox sword, volunteers of the Russian state's burden. In you there is an orthodox knightly tradition. You have established your life and death in the ancient and right spirit of service. You have maintained the banners of the Russian warrior of Christian favor. I dedicate these pages to your leaders. Let your sword be a prayer, and let your prayer be a sword. To all friends and like-minded people who helped me with this work, and especially to the publisher of this book, I will forever cherish a grateful feeling in my soul.